Hey everyone, this is Donish from JobSkillsShare.org. Today we are going to discuss another um, real world scenario. Um, maybe you guys might come across, and this this will be um, for group policy. So any course we can add this to the group policy section. It could be the help desk course. It could be the Active Directory. It could be another special course on group policy. So we're going to add the this video because of the real world scenario. I mean, it's reality. Maybe you'll come across it. So what is the situation over here? Um, and remember, this might not be one of the perfect way to do these things, but it's just what we do at work. Sometimes we do it, then we make it better and better. So you might might not expect me to do a lot of like you know all oh, you know I have to follow every single thing I might not have to follow that I just have to get this thing working and then later on I can get better and better with this thing so what is the scenario or here you let's say for example have a active directory uh, this is your active directory server so active directory is installed on the server and you're managing let's say about 40 60 200 or whatever how many Ever computers are you're managing those computers now the problem with that is if you have if you don't have group policies set on these machines then they're kind of like unmanaged I mean they're managed through Active Directory you can do a lot of things but you can manage the computers without group policy and when you have a group policy what I mean is that managing them in terms of you are not allowing certain softwares running on that machines then you can tell the server over here that I don't want any mach any any software running from this directory on these machines now this could be a very tedious and a very hard type of work if you are going to be doing this alone on each computer so that's why a group policy is being used now in our scenario what we do is that you guys have heard about encrypto locker kind of things and um, which will infect the computers through email or someone will open a zip file and then it will go ahead and download uh, when they click on the software it runs and then in encrypt every single thing so when it, when in encrypt everything then the only way to get it back is to if you have a backup a nice backup or if you have an encryption key and that you don't want to pay for or in, in some cases people did pay for it so uh, that's what we're going to do that we have machines we're going to set up a policy and then we're gonna say you know what from these directories no one can run applications now someone can say oh why don't we put something like um, you know um, when they run a software and then it should prompt for username and password well that most of the time it definitely is the that that's how things are happening but sometimes there are applications that you can run even without admin rights now you can also play around with that and make things work but again um, I'm going to show you group policy how to use that to stop any applications with you uh, specify extensions that these applications in these paths on those computers should not run and that's what we are going to do so to keep going I'm going to discuss one more thing that it's easier in Active Directory this is the Active Directory right here this these are the machines that I'm going to be applying the group policy and when you create an OU organizational unit it's better to just use that and then if you're targeting machines then basically create a OU and it should have a little icon like this and then you can drop the machines in there and that's easy to just apply any group policy and you can go to your group policy editor uh, which is on the left side right here and I can right click and say create a group policy on this um, OU so that's going to be happening in your group policy editor not here in Active Directory user and computers you can just create one here and that will have a little icon and you can apply group policy on those OUs now you cannot apply OUs on this I mean this is a this is basically what it comes when you install the Active Directory originally so you can't apply group policy on these um, the one that is pre-built so it doesn't have these icons that can tell you that can you apply a group policy on it or you can't so I already created a group you just go there create a OU and then you just drop or move or create computers in there so that's the group policy part now what we're gonna do is we are gonna go ahead and open our so I'm gonna expand this like this and then I'm gonna go ahead and this is my group policy I have created a group policy and I named it crypto prevent or you can name it app prevent or whatever you wanna um, basically name it so I have created that and then I right click on the group policy and then I clicked on edit and then I came to this option these parts right here 
So then I went to the policies. I'm on the computer policy, which you can see. The reason I'm not showing that is because of the privacy reasons. But on the top, it says computer configuration. And here, it says user configuration. I am applying this on computer level. So I'm going to expand Windows settings. And then I'm going to uh, expand security right here. And in security, what you do is you expand this like that and then you go to software section you might not see things over here all you have to do is to right click um, on it here the, it will have like a little option say this is not displayed you right click and just say create or I think there's an option just create or new you just click on that and you will have these two folders pop up right away you probably won't see it when you open it for the first time so you just have to right click on it and then you click on create or new I forgot the options there so just do that and you will see these two folders pop up and then you click on additional rules and you can see I already created a few rules in there for testing so that's what we are basically discussing here that whatever path I put over here on the machines in that group policies they will not run with these extensions uh, with dot com dot bad batch file so if there was a someone clicked on an email and then they automatically that you know script runs and then it goes to their app data folder or user folder or some other folders that I'm going to specify in a second then nothing should run and it should give them a message that something is running so they will contact help desk and you know that something is running from these paths you should look it out immediately um, and the good thing it will be blocked so it will not encrypt things and that's how you will pro prevent now that's only one way to prevent you definitely have to do other things but like I said our focus is just to learn group policy here you can even disregard what I'm doing here. it might not even work the correct way but you will see that it's getting applied and that's kind of the most important thing for us to learn here so in our case we have a test machine which is this one I am already on that test machine I logged in this is the MR411 W7 and I open the CMD so I can apply group policy and basically what I want to show you guys is that it's getting applied so I already put these two in there so let me just add one more and someone should ask me where are you getting these pads from this is this is the more important like let's say if you're following this scenario to do the exact same thing then you might have a question that where are you getting all these uh, files so I have to share this little tool with you guys and it's called crypto prevent it's free for um, home use but you can grab this whole list you don't have to use it at work so um, this list is basically gets updated all the time so you can grab all this list this is where these new ransomware crypto locker kind of things are kind of targeting so that that will change with time but the more you prevent the better it's gonna be I mean it's not gonna be perfection uh, you you they might change the date the the path and then they, it might run somehow and then still in, get encrypted I mean you will have to still use like fire uh, email filters or spam filters or things like that to prevent things but this is just one step to make it harder for someone to encrypt things so these are the files and to test out um, these basically these extensions all you have to do is to basically for example I created one I, I went in there I right click on it and then I click on new path rule and in this rule I'll basically go ahead over here and type the same exact thing and follow this list and that's what I'm doing and it saves me tons of time I mean I don't have to go to internet to find what paths are these crypto logger targeting um, and that's what this application these guys are doing so thank you to them for doing this it makes your life easier because now I can go and just copy these lists uh, from this application I don't have to search on internet isn't it cool so we have to say thank you to them so um, this this is the path that you just copy the same thing that's in that list so I'm going to pick the one that I don't have on that list which is all users profile and then percentage and then I'm gonna say backslash steric star dot cmd and it's already said disallowed you can put a comment in there I don't need to do that what you need to do is to make it easier since you know that list goes on and on all you gotta do is to copy this and apply here and click OK so now in that computer on the right side anyone that gets a .cmd in this specific path any application that gets copied somehow from 
email or zip file or some virus trying to attack those paths it should not run the CMD so let's test it out and how you're going to test this out is basically you need to apply the group policy and the way to do it is a GP update slash force space slash force click enter it's basically updating the policy and it should get applied now so there you go you have a updating group policy user policy is getting applied user policy and the computer policy is done now to make um, now to one thing is to go back in here and right click and paste the same path so what you want to do is to click enter and see there are already some of them already created so you can see right here the bad and dot exe and everything but I'm going to delete this to show how I created this I deleted it I don't have anything in there so I'm gonna do paste again to check there's nothing so that's like how it should be on the client computer so when they open e email and then open some kind of zip file and then boom they just the script runs and there's something that started to run from this application or it's, it hides it over here for some time being and then after some months it wanna run it uh, then you will have a problem if you don't have a group policy running on these paths right so to, to create a um, uh, or to, to test a file in this section what we need to do is to right click here go to new and go to open your text document and here just says test app and right now it says txt right just open that again and just type something in there app save as and here you change extension all files and here when you do all files here I'm going to say dot CMD now remember on the left side I say that dot CMD on this path should not run so I'm gonna go ahead and save it once you save it you close it now now let's like say for example this this person this person clicked on an email or some zip file and that application that wires or crypto lock or whatever you wanna call it it came to this point now and it's staying in there it's, it's waiting for its another step now it came to this part now another step is happening somewhere else and it's going to hit this target and open the CMD to encrypt other files on this computer and anything that is mapped to this computer meaning it can encrypt every single thing in your company if this person has a lot of rights so what we want to test now does this grub policy works so like I said it's happening and the application somehow um, the script whatever the virus is running and it goes in and then it runs and CMD BAM it just blocked this is exactly what group policy can do for you and that's how they will call you maybe they will call you that hey there's an application there's an error and this application is trying to run from whatever this error you guys need to check it they will send you an email so you kinda like automatically know something is happening on this machine why is it running from this pad there's no you can see if you get a windows and you open this pad you might not see nothing in there so you shouldn't be having exe dot bad files script files running from these up these uh, um, areas now there could be some applications like some applications for example I think Dropbox or I don't know if there's uh, they're still doing that they were running from app data at some point um, and now if you go back to this list these are different paths right here and you can go all the way down and see app data app data program data program data uh, system drive this list goes on and on and on now in the beginning it's a little work but trust me when you get a hit by encrypto locker or crypto locker kind of thing and if it encrypts every single thing on your your company then you it's it's, it's the IT department they're they're gonna come back to you I mean do you have the backups because if you don't have the backups then it's a big trouble so I know it's a it's a little work in the beginning to put this stuff in there but just think of the consequences too if you get hit and you can recover the data and data is the most important thing for the company then what's important here you're you're spending a little amount of time over here or you telling a boss that I can't recover I'm sorry we have to either pay or sorry that's not gonna work that second part is gonna be really hard for an IT person to say that to your company guys because backups are kind of your responsibility and these kind of things are your responsibility so now 
in reality, yeah, it could be uh, different departments doing this. You might have a security department taking care of a group policy. You might have a network department taking care of the policy. You might be a one-man IT doing every single thing. So yeah, that's up to your work. You can just you can basically decide that. But to show you guys in the real world, I just showed you what group policy can do for you and how you can do things with it. And you can go ahead and open server like free labs from Microsoft or some other things or you can create your own server uh, and then you have you need one client machine like this GP update slash force GP update slash force when you apply group policy here and on this machine everything will be controlled wh whatever you specify here so um, and to get this software it's called crypto locker uh, no it's not prevent um, man I forgot foolish IT is the main um, yeah let me just go back and open um, I think I don't yeah if you go to foolish IT I'm gonna drop that link in there so I'm gonna drop that link in the description it's called foolish IT something dot com or dot org I'm not sure but I got that from there you can install it on your machine if you're a home user you can actually do it without doing group policy all you have to do is to open that application actually let me just open it it's basically called crypto uh, prevent this is what I call crypto prevent so um, you can go to the uh, the site which is foolish IT um, double click on it foolish IT LLC is the company and then get this message you see how it says number of definitions loaded this much you can apply this and test it out um, you can buy the, the 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 upgrade and stuff like that and here you go to advance you go to software restriction policy editor and here you can this is pretty cool stuff right here like let's say for example you have an image and you want to see that this image is free this is nothing in there this is a clean image but these all applications we I just install I want to I want to know what can I whitelist so then in my group policy I already know that I that I don't have to target these paths or applications and then it basically do this for you You can see whitelist here and says right here um, uh, you can basically do like whitelist executable currently all blocked in location so if you run this it will pick this right here and then give you the list that what's already running in your uh, in your image if you do a group policy directly without this application you might not know it and block the the legit applications and you will have problems so it's good to run these applications and know what's running so you can um, whitelist them in your group policy now the blacklist was the list that I was in and this is where I got the list from so it saves me a lot of time going to internet and kind of like figuring it out where is it basically targeting so these people already did that part for you like they worked on this application so they know they have studied all the crypto locker thinking that's why they made this application a simple thing so but like I said you know this is not the only way to pre prevent it you gotta do uh, other things too but uh, this was a group policy real world scenario in action and I'm gonna go ahead and put all this list and just deploy it to the computers and that's it um, and then just wait for if something happens or maybe someone will call me oh my application is not working and then moving on another real world scenario will start from there on <laughs> alright see you guys thank you